when you think about a hit single, it really doesn't have any of the things going for it that you would expect. You can't dance to it. It doesn't have a chorus. It's really long, you know, and it's about robot prostitutes. There's a man outside. I was writing science fiction stories, and uh, these science fiction stories became a really good subject for electronic music. Yeah. It seemed to fit. It was a futuristic version of getting pornography in the post, what comes in a brown envelope, so no, your neighbours don't know what it is. So these prostitutes, these machines, which looked human, were walking around doing various services in, in these grey coats, and they all looked the same, so you never knew what sitters... They could also clean the house. Yeah, they could be anything you want. They could be a cat sitter, a plumber, you know, it didn't matter. If the BBC had known what it was about, they'd never have played it. They'd never let me go on top of the pops, you know, so... So, you know, thumbs up for obscure lyrics. The, the punk thing was really exciting, but... By the time I'd actually got involved and got a band, I could already see lots of signs that it had had its moment. And I was in a band that we were a four-piece band at the time, Tube Army we were called, and two of the people in it were hardcore punk. And so we, we get a deal with Beggar's Bankrupt as a punk band. Oh, well, that's too bad. So I, I go to the studio, and I, I go in first, and while the, my friends are unloading the gear, the guitars and the amps from the, from the car, I, I see the mini -mug in the corner. Never seen a real one before. And luckily, it had been left on a really great sound. Whoa. And the room shook. <clears throat> Fuck me. That is the best thing ever. You know, that's like 10 guitar players at full power doing that on one finger. And all I did was kind of transfer these Riffs, na 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 na, -na punk things into <laughs> synth riffs, and I go back to the record company with this pseudo punk electronic album, and they were horrified. <laughs> not what they wanted at all, not what they'd signed me for. Really angry, and I was absolutely convinced that this type of music, this instrument, is going to be massive because other people must surely feel the way I feel about it. It is making sounds you have never heard before. <laughs> Amazingly, Our Friends Electric was released as a picture disc. I think most of the picture discs were bought by people that never heard it, but because it, it was a picture disc. That sold enough in the first week to get it into the lower reaches of the chart. I think it got to, like, number 90. Very luckily, at that time, Top of the Pops, they did a thing called Bubbling Under, where they would take a record that was outside of the chart and give it a chance. And it was between me and Simple Minds. One of the most exciting new bands I've seen in a long time are this next act. They're called Tubeway Army, and this is their new single, Our Friends Electric. And the reason they chose me is that somebody at Top of the Pops thought Tubeway Army was a more interesting name than Simple Minds, and it was as simple as that. I tried to look like one of the characters from the stories I'd written, did the makeup thing. I noticed on Top of the Pops that when everybody was singing, they would all look at the camera. You know, as the camera would turn, so they just keep on looking at it like that, and I thought that looks shit. Yeah. I asked Top of the Pops if it was okay if we don't have any coloured lights. I don't want any colours because everyone was just all wibbly green, wibbly flashing off and on all the time. I'm going to be moody because it suits the song and it suits the lyric, and it is about robot prostitutes, so you can't be happy. <laughs> and and I think that made it smart. I don't think I'm an agent to you. Our, our friends in the didn't used to go like that. It was actually two songs to begin with. Oh, really? And the, the verse part, do 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 it didn't used to go like that. It actually went do do It was quite lilting, it was quite sweet. And I just hit the wrong note one day. <laughs> I thought, that sounds better. So I kept it. So our friends Electric, this great big pioneering number one opening doors for electronic music, was actually two songs stuck together because I couldn't think how to finish them and a bit of bad playing. <laughs> <laughs>